Hi there, and let's get started. Today we're looking at two different methods of relinking media inside of DaVinci Resolve 12. I'm going to create a new project. And I'll just import the entire four days of rushes that I had for this project. And I'm just going to collapse everything to make it tidy. Now I'm going to save the project and leave the software so that I can go into the rushes and make some substantial changes to the folder structure. So for one, I'm going to rename one of the folders. I am going to drag and drop one of the folders inside of another folder. And I'm going to go into another one of the folders and bring something out. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm completely throwing around the folder structure. In fact, I'm just going to grab the entire rushes and drop them onto the root of this project. So now I'm going to relaunch DaVinci Resolve. Here we go. Every single file is now disconnected. Because everything's tidied away into bins, what I'd like to do is expose all of my clips. So what I'm going to do is create a smart bin. Excellent. So as you can see, now I can scroll up and down and reveal all the audio and video files that I had inside of this project. Now in this first method, we're going to look at the relink selected clips command that you can access with the right click of your mouse. I'm going to click on Control A or Command A on a Mac to select all. I'm going to right click on these clips and now I have relink selected clips available to me. Now the neat thing is, I don't even have to look for a specific file to link to. I just have to point it in the direction of the root folder that all of these files are contained within. The next thing that happens is that DaVinci Resolve will use the time codes and the file names of the clips to identify their new locations. So in virtually no time at all, I think this maybe took about 15 seconds, I've now reconnected hundreds of video and audio clips. I'm going to save this and close the program again to show you the second method of relinking media. Now in this example, I'm going to do something much more simple. I'm only going to change the project name. So when I come back to my all media smart bin, I'll find that once again, everything has become disconnected. But reconnecting them will be easier because I haven't changed the original folder structure. I'll click Control A once again, right click, and this time change source folder. This dialog box is showing us what the common link is between all of this media. And currently it's all looking inside of the E root folder, inside of the DaVinci Resolve tutorials footage folders, and all the way down to rushes, they share a common folder. Everything beyond that will pertain to each individual clip. And because we've stopped at this stage, it will not affect that portion of the file path. It will stay the same. So with the two, I simply have to make the change that will apply to this file path at the top. So instead of looking in middleman, it should be looking inside of middleman film, which was the change that I had made inside of my Explorer. So then when I click change, the clips reconnect instantaneously. If I scroll across to my file path column and I reveal the structure, you can see that all of the original file paths for every single video and audio clip has stayed exactly the same. It is only this one folder, the middleman folder, that has now been renamed in all of them. Another very convenient use for the change source folder method is being able to make a very rapid change to the location of your footage if only the letter of the drive has changed since the last time you've plugged in your external drive. So in that case, I can simply select all my media uh, delete the entire preceding file path, leaving just a letter alone, and then change that to the new letter. So then when I click change, again, you'll see that the entire file path has remained exactly the same and only this letter has become swapped. Thank you for watching and until next time.